Now, this is a question uh, from exam 2011. Uh, it was asked in 2011 and seems to be a chaos enabled function. So let's look at this question. So the function is f of x is equal to x squared minus 9 and g of x is uh, x plus 5. So the question is find f of g of x and you want to find what is g and c and d. So in the function f you have to put the function g. So f of g of x So that would be square root of, in place of this x, I have to put g of x, which is x plus y, the whole squared minus 9. This minus 9 I'm going to write as minus 3 squared. So now using difference of two squares, this becomes x plus y plus 3, which is x plus 8, x plus y minus 3, which is x plus so this is your f of g of x. So here you can say, well, c is c is 8 and d is 2. So that's uh, That will give you two marks. Okay. State the maximal domain for which this is, de is defined. So you don't need to think about whether it is defined or not. It is already defined. So f of, f of g of x is defined. So you want to find what is the domain of this. So, so this is the function x plus 8 times x plus 8. So for the square root function to be defined, whatever is whatever in, inside the square root has to be positive. So here one thing that I can say is x plus 8 times x plus 2 has to be greater than or equal to 0 has to be greater than or equal to 0. So this has got two parts. So let's solve this into two parts. So x plus 8 times x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 8 times x plus 2 is greater than 0. So let's deal with this separately. So I hope you know this means x should be uh, minus 8 or x should be minus 2. Now this is a very vital information. This is this these two critical numbers will help us to find how to solve this. So let's draw a number line. So if you draw a number line, so the critical numbers that we have is let's say this is 0, this is negative 2 and this is negative 8. So the question is, these two are the numbers that we are accepting. So we are happy with this minus 8 and this minus 2. We are accepting these two numbers. So well, I can divide this number line into three areas. So this is 1 to the left of minus 8. Then I will say this is in between minus 2, minus 8 and minus 2. So this is the red area, and let me take this, the blue area, uh, this is the third area. So we are going to do trial and error, or guess and check to decide when would this be positive. So, so let's say if, if, x is, if x is less than 8, if x is less than minus 8, uh, Okay, so let's say if x is say minus 10, you can pick any value which is less than minus 8. So if you put minus 10 here, this is going to be negative. Uh, this is going to be negative and this is also going to be negative. And negative times negative is positive. So we are accepting x to be less than minus 8. Okay. What happens if you take a number between, let's look at this area, this number. So if x is equal to, let's say, uh, minus 1, okay, not minus 1, minus 5. 
Let's see, x is minus 5. So we are picking a number, minus 5, say, comes here. So if you put minus 5 into this, minus 5, negative 5 plus 3, plus 8 is positive 3. And this is going to be uh, negative 5 plus 2 is uh, negative 3. That has to be, is less than 0. So we cannot accept this. So x, we are not accepting any numbers in this uh, area. And finally, let's take a number in this area. So you can say x is equal to 0. Okay, you can take any number. You can put x is equal to 10 or 100 or whatever. So if you put here, this is going to be positive and this is also going to be positive. That means positive times positive is positive. So what's the answer? So the answer is x is less than or equal to minus 8 or x is greater than or equal to minus 2. It can also be written in an interval form. The interval form, I'll also show how you can do this on a calculator. So this can be, this is from minus infinity to minus 8. You have to include minus 8 union minus 2 to positive infinity. So this is how you do it without a calculator. This question can be done on a CAS. Okay, so get your cal uh, CAS out. So let's bring, so let's define f of x. So f of x uh, is defined as, uh, uh, let's see what is x, f of x. f of x is x square root of x squared minus 9. So shift square root of